So hello ladies and gentlemen, you are very welcome here to the home of Guinness at St. James's Gate. My name is Alan Maxwell and I'm one of the beer specialists here in the Guinness Storehouse. Today, I'm going to teach you how to pour the perfect pint of Guinness. The first thing we do whenever we want to pour the perfect pint, well we take a Guinness branded glass. We use this because the gold harp on the front is going to be our reference point and a Guinness glass is flat bottomed on the inside which allows our nitrogen gas to escape. The next thing we need to do is we rest our glass against the top nozzle, we rest that against the inside of the gold harp and we hold our glass at a 45 degree angle. Pull the top handle all the way down. As the beer goes into the glass, we're slowly going to straighten it and when the liquid reaches the top of that same gold harp, well that's when we're going to stop. And that is the first part of our two part pour for a Guinness draft. Why? Well, what we have going on now is what we call the Guinness Surge. If you look at our pint, you can see that it's got a very skinny head at the moment. There appears to be something falling down the sides and it's just a little bit dark on the bottom. What's happening now is that nitrogen gas that we use, that's shooting up out of the pint. 30 million bubbles in there, all trying to get out. And as they do so, that's what forms the beautiful head on top. You can see already as some of the gas has escaped and settled and cleared at the bottom, the head of the beer is really starting to thicken up where we want it to be. What we're going to do next then is we're going to top it off. Now, the reason we stop at this point is it's at the widest part of the glass and it allows the head on the beer to develop. In Ireland, we want it about two centimetres. That's the preference we like. Now we can see that the pint is fully settled, the gas has escaped and the head has developed. Like I said, we're ready to top it off. But this time, we're not going to pull the handle towards us. We actually push it away towards you, the customer. When we do this, it limits the amount of pressure and flow that goes into the pint, so you don't have to wait for it to settle all over again. You've been patient enough. So we take our pint, we hold it underneath the tap, and like I said, we're pushing towards the customer this time. We want the pint to fill up so that a small part of the head sticks out of the top in a smooth, creamy dome. We serve it with the logo facing forward, and that should be the perfect pint of Guinness. From when I start to pour until I serve it to you, it should take 119.5 seconds. Enjoy. <laughs>